every day a lot of breakouts happen some of them are good setup some of them are not necessarily good setup some of them might be good setup but the risk reward is not in your favor some of them if you didn't enter at the right time early in the morning in the first 15 20 minutes or half an hour they are no more possible to enter kind of setups so you have to take all those factors into consideration so let's look at some of these setups and uh, which has been submitted by people on the timeline and also some of the setups which i have like and i highlighted uh, in order to look at some of the things too. now this is one of the setups which is like unless you bought it somewhere here at around 23 or so, 0.50 or 23.80 okay what is the danger of buying something like this now 28 percent 28.67 percent this stock is up okay so where is going to be your stop if your stop is at low of the day then your stop will be at 21.02 even if you say look i'm not going to put it at 21.02 i'm going to put it at like say the opening price which is 22.62 what is your risk and what is your reward so let's have a look at this because this is an important thing to look at when buying a breakout and why you need to enter very quickly now let's look at say the entry price will be 28.90 assuming that it doesn't gap up so your entry price is 28.90 and this calculator is on the site okay you can look under the tab for the member site okay now you have 28.90 uh, where are you going to put your uh, uh, stop? If you are going to put it at 22.62 uh, for argument sake, we say 22.62, the ideal stop would be at the low of the day, uh, which is 21.02. So let's start by looking at 21.02 first. 21.02. Okay. If you had 100,000 in your account and if you are risking 1%, okay, you will have only 3,667 invested in this particular stock okay because your risk per share is so high because your risk per share is so high what happens is that only a small percentage of your account you can put into this breakout and not only that in order to recover your risk itself this stock has to go up another 21 percent uh, so the when a stock makes such a big move unless you are really like uh, got into it early I would say anything which is up like more than 10 or 12 percent lower price stocks 10 or 12 percent higher price stock if it is up five six percent you have to look at that as an equation is it a good setup yes like uh, and it was also a good setup here uh, where it was up only 6.82 so the equation works in your favor so look at it look at it. you will be investing only 3667 in this particular stock because your risk per share is so high okay so that's the problem with some of these setups and especially like if you're a working person or you're going to be doing it end of the day unless there is an earth shattering catalyst even if there is an earth shattering catalyst you will in order to recover just your stock the stock needs to make another 28.67 percent okay so uh, that's the thing which you have to look at lower price stocks can be up 20 percent 25 percent and they can still go up but then the equation is really uh, boils down to how much you can risk and this is where some of the things like dollar breakouts low threshold breakouts work in your favor because in those kind of equations i'll show you some of these equations for some of the other setups uh, you can risk like an 30 40 50 percent of your account with like an your risk being so low in fact and you have to drop your risk to 0.5 or sometimes 0.25 because at one percent risk you will end up like an investing more than your capital so keep that in mind same problem here like and it's a high price stock the other thing to look at any time when you see a setup like this is to look at its past behavior in the past whenever it has made a big move uh, okay it did have some follow through which was like in a minor follow through here uh, this was a big move nothing happened and overall this stock doesn't have a trend intensity it doesn't have anything which makes me think that this is going to go up great setup very nice setup in terms of like uh, there is a platform consolidation from it is breaking out but again intraday if you had got in and all these stocks will show up on your scan like as soon as they start breaking out intraday if you had got in a uh, great trade but like again how are you going to manage the trade if i was in this trade intraday i would have like you know, taken almost 80 percent of the position out or even 90 percent and kept a small one because uh, the past doesn't indicate that this has the potential 
to keep on going up so always like you know don't just blindly look at any setup and again if you look at this kind of a setup it's up 6.20 which is the largest move of this stock but the history of the stock is such that it hasn't really like any followed up on any one of these uh, big moves in the past where it has made okay uh, we now this is a uh, somebody has put this as four percent breakout uh, uh, I'm, I see this was a better buy here as a low threshold breakout or as an anticipation coming out of anticipation. Uh, can it work? Yes. Uh, it's not really the ideal kind of a setup because what you, you want to see is a, a low uh, negative candle or a, a very small candle like this before the breakout price. And this was like an a, already a dollar breakout here. So if you are doing a combination of 4% and dollar breakout, dollar breakout would have got you into this much earlier. So keep that in mind. Uh, so now this is something which I put in here. Now this is an IPO. Okay. See this is an IPO. Okay. Uh, it's thinly traded. But like any, it's breaking out of this kind of consolidation. Volume wasn't high. So not the ideal kind of a setup. But sometimes if you're looking for uh, IPOs, so many times they can work. I'm not recommending that. I just put it there because I saw it in the IPO scan. Okay. Now. Uh, LG and D. Now, if you bought it as an anticipation setup, great, okay. Uh, but like any stock has had like any moves, so uh, I wouldn't expect much of a move on this because see, low, most of the moves uh, here was a big move, which is coming out of like after a pullback, after a big gap up, okay. Here, uh, it may not make as big a move. That's my reading. So this is to me an extended setup. Also, like if you see. Here, like, and this is young trend. This is like, and becoming older. Okay, uh, pets. This is a bottoming kind of a setup. See now, if you are going to try and buy a bottoming kind of a setup, uh, again, it's up three days in a row. That's one. But like, and it doesn't have enough volume. Uh, can it work? Yes. Uh, it closed near the high, and uh, this was like basically some sort of a short sellers attack. So it can bounce back, uh, but. Uh, I would have liked a setup which had a higher volume and some sort of a shakeout kind of a thing uh, on a higher volume and then a breakout but uh, not the kind of setups which I trade and I recommend I don't have much of a success with tra trading setups which are like these kind of setups I stick to a continuation kind of setups which will be something which has an established trend intensity kind of a thing but uh, is it a good setup okay like and i don't like this it is up almost three days in a row so that's the negative and uh, but it did close near and uh, the volume was hardly like you can't even see the volume surge like and it's hardly had a volume surge so that's the negative uh neoj now this is a kind of a setup where like and this is a dollar breakout again if you see one dollar 93 and you'll see that this is breaking out it's a reasonably thing now let's look at this setup on the calculator uh, as against what we looked at the first CIFS. Now here is a setup where you're going to be like your entry is going to be 78.80 assuming that it doesn't gap up okay and your stop is going to be 76.52. So if your stop is going to be 76.52 let's plug that in stop is 76.52 and uh, your uh, this thing 78.40 What do you get for a one percent risk? Forty-one percent of your account you can put into this, okay? And uh, if it, this stock makes a move of like say, uh, because your risk price per share is one point eighty-eight, it goes up three dollars, supposing, which is possible for a high price stock seventy-eight. Even if it goes to eighty, you're talking about like an a you're going to be making thousand dollars quickly. So look at that equation all the time when you're looking at a setup okay uh, not really a grade kind of a setup because like and it was a little bit choppy but uh, the higher price stocks work in your favor because you can put in a lot more capital um, this is a sh again like bottoming kind of a setup it is like any from a double bottom triple bottom whatever you want to call it uh, again uh, can it work yes uh, close near the high uh, had some sort of a shake out here and also here uh, again stock is up two days in a row so that's something which i really uh, like setups where it's the first up day but uh, can it work it can work uh, the 
uh, earnings is on 10 25 so you have to look at that and then 19 so you have 20 21 22 whether you have enough days for it to play out as a setup so volume was also high so again look at the past behavior it did have some follow through but it's not really one of those stocks which is an explosive mover uh, kind of a stock okay Landronics, uh, again, these are bottoming kind of setups, uh, not my cup of tea. I don't really like and I do things like this, but yes, it is a nice setup. Uh, uh, if you're looking at it, I would say that probably uh, you will put a target here. And again, if you look at it, this kind of setups will allow you to put in more capital than the CIFS kind of setup. Uh, that's, so that's why like you have to be doing some of those ultra intraday itself. Dicom again like this is bottoming kind of a setup nice setup like see this is the first leg orderly and then uh, breaking out uh, again if you see this 1.68 you'll be able to get lot more capital in if you plug in the numbers here into the equation 85.06 uh, 85.06 and 83.5 83.63 see now if you look at this this is like an a you are you can put in 59 percent of your account for one percent risk obviously that becomes more risky so you might drop this to 0.5 to lower your, your risk okay so if you even if you put it for that okay now the stock just needs to make one dollar 43 move from here for you to recover your uh, like and uh, to cover your risk uh, and if it makes more than that then it will be much uh, so how difficult it is for a stock which is a one dollar sixty eight uh, to make that kind of a move okay so think about it like and i say many of the uh, dollar breakout always work better in risk reward terms uh, than some of the big breakouts which show up now this is an ipo uh, this obviously what is the negative here again like and I see it faded now the stock is up 15% some of these uh, uh, Biotechnology kind of things they are up on breakout day itself 30 40 sometimes 100 percent So you don't have much of a choice But what it the implication of that is your position size will decrease accordingly You will not be able to put 60% of your account in something like this if you can put in obviously you're risking a lot more money but uh, this is not if you uh, see it didn't close near high and also like this is where it becomes critical uh, the it's not a very uh, liquid stock 164.40 uh, 164,000 shares credit so if you got in early yes but like in order to get in early it's not possible unless you're scanning for like in a very low uh, volume because the it wouldn't show up on your scan till, uh, till it made a big move of like and the volume has to be there also so volume will show up only at certain price. Okay. Uh, Pen National Gaming. Now see here, like, and a stock is up two days in a row, which is not what I like. Uh, stock hasn't really had much of a success in terms of okay, it didn't have three uh, breakout. This breakout didn't really work to that extent, and uh, looks like an extended. The stock has been going up. For long period of time uh, extended setups have not had good success in the recent time uh, especially in the last couple of days so i would say uh, now this is i don't know why this uh, somebody picked it up it's not really a setup like good setup at all and it's like an, okay if you had said it here i would have said okay because there's some sort of a consolidation from which it is breaking out and it did make 24 percent but here i don't know uh, what is the logic of putting it there uh, TGH, this is a stock which is breaking out to a high from a consolidation. See here, uh, orderly. See narrow range day here before the breakout. That's the kind of setup which is like good setup basically. Um, PPC up three days in a row. Otherwise, it would be a good setup. Now again, stock is up only three to point fourteen percent. Okay, so it will not show up in your four percent scan. And that is why I have shared with you the low threshold breakout scan because uh, stock, some of the setups might be a good setup, but they'll have only 3% breakout or less than 4% breakouts. And you don't want to miss out on them, especially if you're a full time trader. Uh, so use low threshold breakout scan also, because if you see this stock 
had a breakout here also which was like only 3.43 percent but it did make a 25 percent move and uh, so and it, it was from a small platform so that is the thing okay um, not something which is because it's a three days in a row i wouldn't really take something like that uh, asg and this is a good setup like and i see here like and i made a very linear whenever you see a move like this what does it tell you it tells you that their buyers were completely in control there was like any the reason why you get such a linear move is very strong buying if there is no strong buying then you get choppy moves uh, you get like pullbacks you get like consolidation here the stock just went straight up that's a indicator of a very very strong buying okay now obviously after a three four days of sideways move it is breaking out trend is young also stock close near high now the stock is up only 2.25 percent so if you plug your equation in uh, say 56.41 uh, is your your entry point and the risk I make it back to 1% and uh, your uh, stop is 55.25 uh, so if 55.25 you can put in 48% of your account for 1% risk so obviously if you want to limit your risk to only 25% of account, you can drop this to 0.5%. Now again, um, how much is your risk? $1.16, okay? The stock just needs to make more than $1.16 for you to like recover your risk. And if the stock makes two or three dollars, you're going to get two R kind of trades. So look at that as uh, one of the ways to look at breakouts uh, because uh, you take dollars at home, not the percentage, okay? Uh, RTRX, this is also a nice setup. See here, like a stock has been going up, uh, orderly pullback, breaking out close near the high. Again, stock will not show up in a 4% record. Why? It is not 4% up, but it's 3.92%. Where will it show up? Which can will it show up? In low threshold breakout. Okay. Uh, interactive broker, very nice anticipation setup, but like an it was earning, so uh, that was the problem, but like an if. Uh, stock faded a bit so that's the problem uh, on these kind of like an you know, earnings breakout it's better to wait for a pullback and consolidation or sideways move and then you can get in with much lower risk many times now Boyd gaming okay now this Boyd gaming I said like in you know, this stock is extended someone has put in pen national gaming okay now this was like an you know, not such a nice but like and you know, this is like an you know, again stock is like an you know, just crawling along and then breaking out so some of these kind of setups are iffy according to me i don't really get into them because they're more uh, anything can work sometimes in the market so but uh, again this is up three days in a row okay I try and avoid setup which are up three days in a row because most movement numbers last only three to five days so if you're entering a stock which is up already three days in a row uh, you're probably better off finding something which is not up three days in a row. This is very nice setup. This is the best setup out of the things which I looked at, like in a very orderly pullback. See, volume was very low on this pullback, like if you see, and it broke out. And it was also an anticipation setup probably here, right? And it was an anticipation setup. Very, very nice. This is, uh, I like setups like this, okay. Um, but it is low price, so low price 12.87 years. Uh, but anything which is like, say, goes about 20%, if you're going to be entering next day, there has to be some earth shattering catalyst for that. Otherwise, like and I, you will find that most of them uh, will have some sort of a uh, next day, uh, inside day or something like that. So keep that in mind. IVZ, Invesco, Asset Management. Again, I wouldn't be, I'm not a great fan of setups like this. Uh, it doesn't have really a consolidation. See, there is a video which I posted many years ago, which was done by my daughter when she was eight or nine year, eight, I think eight year old, where she explained what to see in a, uh, what to uh, see in a good breakout and see that video, like, uh, that's like an even eight year old kid can do this once you train. Uh, and she says very clearly, look, look for something which has gone up, go sideways. Uh, this doesn't really look like it's very utterly sideways move, volume is high and then it breaks out and closes near the high and volume is high on the breakout day, okay? Uh, same problem, um, okay, that's the same stock. Now, this I put in, okay? Now, this is the kind of setups which can really make you like an, a good money if it works kind of a thing. This is like, an, a, this is in uh, 
um, this was in uh, anticipation, right? Uh, the stock is up only 1.08%, but look, the equation works very, very favorably because if the stock goes just like, an, and this is high price stock, so when it moves, it is going to move in increments of 5 to $10, okay? You're going to get into a situation where like your entry will be 94, okay? And let's make this 1%. And your stop is low of the day, which is like stop is 93.15. So if you're 93.15 as a stop, you can put in 110% of your account in this particular position. Your risk is only 0.85 cents, okay? If it makes $3, you're going to be making multiples of your risk. You're going to be making $3,000 on that position, okay? This is the kind of setups which I really like. Like, you know, And if it doesn't work, your risk is so low, like you can scratch up the trade. And I wouldn't recommend if you are like you know, to put in 110% of your account, uh, but even if you drop your risk to 0.25%, you're looking at putting in, buying around 294 shares here, okay? So if you're new to these kind of, uh, breakout trading and uh, uh, use this kind of a calculator to make a decision but this is a very nice setup in my book uh, which obviously means that I might have a position in it uh, ECA okay now ECA is basically uh, was something which I bought okay at that stage it wasn't and now the, at the end of the day it was only 3.24 but at that time it was like an at around uh, four percent it was up four percent but it fed it volume was high volume is a lot of like and it's traded a lot of shares almost like 35 million shares but uh, uh, that's unfortunately it didn't close near the high but uh, that was a nice setup if it had closed near the high okay so uh, i don't know why this is here it should not be here because that's not a good setup let's look at some short setups okay like you have to keep looking at short setups uh, uh, daily then only you become good at it you can't really like and what happens is like and when the market goes down then everybody immediately says oh can i find a short setup you don't have enough conf uh, uh, practice to find short setups so you're not going to find it at that time you have to find short setups every day look at how shorts work whether they work or not work now this is also would have been an anticipation because like an apc 0.96 and it was consolidating like an after making a big breakdown and it did go down 5.08% and stock has been an IPO. So if it works, uh, you're looking at probably more lower price. Selgin, again, Selgin had a breakdown here, tried to have a bounce on a lower volume. Now that bounce might be failing. So that's one. Okay. Netflix is the reaction to earnings, not the earnings which matter, right? And the earnings was good, but like the stock reacted negatively. And you see like here also it has pulled back recently every time like an a the uh, negative range expansion has worked to an extent so i would give it a try because it's down 1.98 percent so risk is not very high but like that's one possible uh, short setup okay um, the problem is that uh, uh, i don't have much of a capital to trade on short side because 90 percent of the money is in IRA accounts and 401ks and uh, SAFE and other things. So uh, Amazon, another one where like, and you'll see that large stock and has been successful on the short side in recent days, uh, recent months, every time it had gone, it had a follow through. So that's like another one. So those are some of the things, but like, and I would say that the only breakout, unless you bought something like this intraday, uh, I would say that the best or some of the things which I don't even, didn't even put in like an essay Cree and all because they are like and not unless you bought them intraday uh, there is no point in entering something like this now it's too uh, like an it's I would wait for a pullback kind of thing even though it was a very nice setup uh, but it uh, in after hours like and after the earning it was down six percent so I removed it from my anticipation list otherwise I had it on anticipation list for a couple of weeks I was watching it, so, so sometimes that's what happens. But these are the two which I would say are the best out of this lot, okay? And on the short side, you have big ones like Netflix and Amazon, uh, which also tells you to keep an eye on this 
bugger okay because uh, if many of these netflix amazon and uh, even like an uh, i saw price line more or less fade right and that's a negative i think it will have probably a downside follow through uh, uh, after that kind of a move so many of these tqq component which is like in a component of qqq they are turning so if they are turning then obviously something to keep an eye on this thing i hope this helps you in improving your skills there is no shortcut uh, you have to do it more, more time if you do it continuously for 60 days 70 days 90 days you become very good at it you you train yourself to find these kind of setups instantly uh, intraday itself uh, the best way to find this kind of setup is to run your scans right from market open especially if you're a full-time trader uh, besides that there are other tools like the trade ideas software can allow you to find many of the setups much earlier than even telechart will allow you to find or like in a free market uh, work if you do you'll find some of these setups but as far as possible try and find setups where your this thing is as close as possible ideally okay in ideal situation i'd want to find a setup where like in a, my entry minus stop is as close as possible so i want a setup where like in a, i enter and my stop is 99.50 or something okay that will get you 200 percent invested okay but like that's the kind of setup you want to see you want to like in a risk as little as possible and then make money if you risk like in a 28 percent on buying a breakout like this sometimes you'll be lucky but like and if it doesn't work then you're losing too much money or your position size is very small so you'll have to make more trades okay as against that if you look at like say uh what is that uh, uh thing uh the recently i uh, highlighted one of the trades uh, i think ph or what is it ph uh, not ph uh, the yeah parker hennifant corporation okay now this was like an a the stock didn't make much of a move right but i still ended up making around three thousand two hundred dollars or something on this uh, trade uh, so because your risk is so low uh, if you like this is an anticipation so you enter based on anticipation once you uh, like and it pass a certain level and just because you can put in a lot more capital into the trade you can make so keep that equation in mind i spent a lot of time in the boot camp on this concept saying that out of all your setups look at them from risk and risk is stop uh, your entry minus stop is what risk is so find setups which have very low risk because the lower the risk the lesser is the percentage of move the stock has to make in order to just make a two hour or three hour trade because if your risk is only say 0.4 percent or 0.5 percent stock is up like only because you're watching it and anticipation that's where the anticipation because very critical because all good setups breakout will show up in your anticipation most of the time if you can enter even before the breakout happens with just like in a one or two percent kind of a thing you are in a situation where like you, know, you can uh, with just three or four percent move after your uh, entry you're making four or five multiples of your risk so keep this equation in mind study this equation study this particular tab uh, it's there on the uh, main uh, site tools other tools and then you'll find that if you can find setups which are like very low uh, this thing they can work wonders to move your account very fast because you can get in much more into uh, your uh, position your stop is so close so your risk is so low and you can make uh, if it goes up like see if this stock makes uh, three dollars or something okay i'll be up around uh, three thousand four thousand on this particular uh, position uh, like i showed you an example of ba where like in a the stock was up like and i got it like here like and i just like in a, this thing and uh, because i was watching and i got in like and i didn't even wait for the breakout to happen i got in when it was like an even not a breakout the stock only made a move of like in a five six dollar but that was like in a sufficient to make five six thousand um, dollars on a position so always look for situation or breakouts where risk reward is highly in your favor is what i would say and the i the best way to play uh, these breakouts is to like 
uh, intraday as and when they show up to enter okay don't wait for the end of the day to enter okay and do more of anticipation because a lot of these setups were good as an anticipation setup coming out of that or low threshold breakouts and uh, you will find a combination of low threshold breakout dollar breakout anticipation and four percent breakout works better than just focusing on one thing so 